perseverance, patience and passion. My dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, today we are commemorating Palm Sunday along with the Holy Mother of the Church. Palm Sunday reminds us the purpose of Jesus, that Jesus has set his face towards Jerusalem and his face will not be turned away from the focus. The picturization of Palm Sunday event brings before us three important imageries. People waving palms symbolizes a warm welcome and a sign of a victory to a king. People singing Hosanna symbolizes a call to Jesus the king to save them from every pain and sorrow. And Jesus sitting on a donkey symbolizes Jesus as the prince of peace and king of the universe. So we see today on Palm Sunday Jesus enters Jerusalem gloriously and magnificently. Palm Sunday is also called as Passion Sunday. It is because of the passion of Jesus. The passion narrative of Jesus covers the entire account of Jesus' arrest, trial, passion, crucifixion and death. The readings of the day invite each one of us to focus on what are the important elements that we need to move towards the purpose for which God created. So based on the liturgy of the word today I would like to share with you three points of reflection. The first point of reflection, perseverance. Pope Francis says, perseverance is the ability to support, to remain faithful, even when the weight seems to become too big, unsustainable, and are tempted negatively to judge and abandon everything and everyone. Perseverance is the persistence in doing something despite difficulty or delay, failure or opposition in achieving success. Perseverance is severe but it's worth it because it adds joy and beauty to move to the purpose we want to achieve in life. And that's what we hear from the first reading from Prophet Isaiah. I have given my body to the strikers and my cheeks to them that plucked them. I have not turned away my face from them that rebuked me and spit upon me. The Lord is my helper, therefore I am not confounded or put into shame. The reading from Prophet Isaiah is a reminder for all of us in our life of journey. Walking towards the height of success and moving towards the way of life as it flows, there may be different sort of obstacles that may entangle us, but overcoming them with perseverance will assist us in reaching the goal of life. Today, most of us do not persevere because we feel it's hard and difficult. We feel it has something forced upon and feel boredom. Perseverance severe, but even in that severity, there is a surety of hope and joy, provided we persevere in ways that are just and true. So let us persevere in our efforts to journey with God towards God like Prophet Isaiah. The second point of reflection, patience. Patience is the capacity to accept or tolerate delay, problems or sufferings without becoming angry or anxious. By patience, we obtain the ability to endure suddenly and deal with problems without frustration. But be for sure, patience always paves way for better and happier living. Pope Francis in his address to the consecrated men and women says, Patience is not a sign of weakness, rather it is the strength of the spirit. I feel that's what the second reading from St. Paul's letter to Philippians we hear. Christ Jesus, though he was in the form of God, did not regard equality with God. Rather, he emptied himself, taking the form of a slave, lived like one of us in human appearance. He humbled himself, becoming obedient to the point of death, even death on a cross. So God exalted him high above all to worship and glorify and serve him. So we see that Jesus was patient in all changes of life, from the level of a God to a human being, from all that he had to all that he did not want to have. It's all for a purpose of bringing God's reign and give glory to God. And we see Jesus completely patient in the process of God's reign over the world. Today, one of the most important things that we lack in life is patience. We become impatient when our ego is hurt. We become impatient when others do better than us. We become impatient when things go wrong. We become impatient when we lose in a competition or job, a contact or a contract. But Jesus shows us an example to be patient when we have everything and when we can do nothing. Mostly, 
our impatience is the only cause of our downfall. But Jesus proves to us that patience pays the price in a greater measure, reaching the spot where his heavenly Father wanted Jesus to be. Today we pray that we have patience to walk towards God. Third point of reflection, passion for God. Today we have the passion reading. The passion reading begins with the Passover meal, betrayal, denial, passion and death of Jesus. Even in this hour of passion, knowing the fact what its beginning and end, Jesus walks passionately. As someone has very beautifully said, a passionate person has very strong feeling or belief in something. He or she will be very passionate about the project or a purpose that they want to accomplish. I am sure indeed, Jesus was very passionate in his journey towards God. In this journey, so hard and painful, Jesus walks with passion in his eyes, the fire of his passion, in his spirit, the power of his passion, in his heart, the love for passion and loyalty to his passion. Whatever might have been the hour of Jesus' passion, the intensity of his passion does not reduce the burning passion of Jesus from his heart to move towards God. Jesus is full of passion for God and full of compassion for humanity in bringing the grace of God for the salvation of all. Today, we need to have the same passion of Jesus in the hour of our passion, pains, sorrows, sin and sickness to accomplish the purpose that we are born for. Because passion or enthusiasm gives a reason to live, to move and to have our being on earth. Today, when we examine about our passion, our passions are based on fashion or fun. At times it is selfish, at times it is worthless, pointless and meaningless. But what moves us to the height of success is the right and genuine passion that burns in us intensely and brightly for God. Such passionate desires will assist our growth and move towards God. So on this Palm Sunday, let's pray that we may walk perseveringly, that we may walk patiently and that we may walk passionately towards God for the goal of human life and for Christian life lies in our move towards God. Let's pray that God may bless our journey. Amen.